In this video, you're going to learn the best lessons from the book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. If you like the sound of this book and you'd like a free copy, use the link in the description to get a trial of Audible and you can get the book for free. Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now offers a profound exploration of mindfulness and presence, emphasizing that true peace and fulfillment comes from the present moment, rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. The book argues that many of the issues humans face, anxiety, stress, regret, are products of being disconnected from the present. Tolley explains that shifting focus from a constantly thinking mind to the essence of being, we can awaken to be more meaningful and have more liberated lives. Key takeaways and lessons. Number one, the illusion of time. One of the central messages in The Power of Now is that time is an illusion. Tolley argues that most of our suffering arises because we spend too much time either in the past, regret and resentment, or in the future, anxiety and worry. The book emphasises and encourages us to see time as a mere mental construct, which helps us organise events, but should not dominate our consciousness. Real peace, Tolley explains, can only be found by embracing the now, because it is only in that moment that we truly exist. Lesson two, the ego versus the true self. Tolley introduces the idea of the ego, a constructed sense of self built on memory, beliefs and stories we tell ourselves. The ego drives our incessant mental chatter and craves control, validation, and identity through external markers like status, possessions, and even past traumas. In contrast, the true self exists beyond these mental constructs and can only be found by silencing the mind and observing thoughts without attachment. This state of awareness helps us connect with a deeper self that exists beyond labels, thoughts, or stories. Lesson three, embracing the pain body. Tolley introduces the concept of the pain body, a sort of emotional entity within us that stores past pain and suffering. This pain body feeds on negative emotions, seeks out situations to sustain its existence, often causing destructive behaviours or patterns in our lives. By recognising when our pain body is triggered, we can prevent ourselves from being consumed by it. Tolle teaches that simply observing the pain body and accepting it without identifying with it is the key to dissolving its power over us. Lesson 4. Mindfulness through presence. The concept of presence is central to the power of now. Tolle explains that presence is the ability to inhabit the present moment fully, which is often overshadowed by mental distractions. We often live in constant stream of thoughts about past or future, keeping us from truly experience life as it unfolds. Mindfulness, focusing fully on what is happening right now, reconnects us with our senses and our life's simplicity, stripping away unnecessary worries and regrets. Lesson 5. Freedom from the thinking mind. Tolley argues that much of human misery is self-created stemming from over-identification with the thinking mind. He suggests that thoughts themselves aren't the problem, it's our attachment to them and our belief that they define us. Tolley proposes a mental pause where we simply observe our thoughts as though they were clouds passing through a sky. This practice of detachment helps us see that we are not our thoughts and that we can observe them without getting caught up in them. Lesson six, acceptance, saying yes to the moment. Another critical lesson from the power of now is the importance of acceptance. Tolley urges readers to accept each moment exactly as it is. Resistance to reality is a source of inner conflict. When we resist the present, we create unnecessary stress and frustration because we are fighting something we can't change. By embracing each moment, even the difficult ones, we find a calm strength that allows us to act more clearly and respond rather than react to situations. Lesson 7. 
the joy of being versus doing. Tolley talks about the idea of being as a state of awareness that goes beyond our actions and achievements. We are often consumed by a need to do things, achieve goals and chase that next big thing, losing ourselves in the process. Tolley teaches on being, reminds us to find joy in the simple experience of existing without attaching our worth to accomplishments. He suggests spending time each day without a purpose, just to experience and appreciate life as it is. Lesson 8. Connecting with others through presence. Relationships, Tolly explains, are often complicated by our egos, which project expectations and judgments onto others. By bringing presence into our interactions, we can involve and improve relationships by truly listening and seeing others without judgment. This doesn't just mean paying attention, but being fully present, which fosters a deeper connection and understanding. This also helps break down barriers created by preconceived ideas about how others should behave. Lesson 9. Silencing the mind-made self. Tolly challenges us to question the identities we construct around our accomplishments, roles and social standing. He calls this identity the mind-made self because it's essentially a mental narrative we cling to. This mental self is brittle, often defensive and prone to suffering. Instead, Tolly encourages us to live without these labels and beliefs about who we think we are. By releasing ourselves from rigid identities, we experience a form of psychological freedom that allows us to adapt and respond without fear. Lesson 10. Liberation through surrender. Finally, Tolly explains and emphasizes the power of surrender. By surrender, he doesn't just mean give up, but rather accepting things we can't change and aligning ourselves with the flow of life. Resistance to what is creates friction and struggle, while surrender brings peace. Surrendering to the present moment without trying to force it to conform to our desires or expectations can bring deep contentment and reduce inner conflict. Now, applying the lessons of the power of now in daily life. Tolley's teachings are powerful yet deceptively simple to practice. Here are a few ways to start. Mindful breathing. The breath is a key anchor for staying present. By focusing on our breath, we become more aware of our thoughts and emotions without being overtaken by them. Observing thoughts. Each day, take a few moments to sit quietly and observe your thoughts. Rather than reacting, try to watch them from a neutral perspective. Acceptance practice. Start small by practicing acceptance in minor situations, like being stuck in traffic or waiting in line. Gradually, you'll find it easier to accept larger challenges with the same calmness. Presence in relationships. Practice active listening with family, friends and colleagues, focusing entirely on them without judgment or distraction. In conclusion, in the power of now, Eckhart Tolle invites readers to step away from the chaos of constantly being in the active mind and connect with the tranquility of the present moment. The book's message is both timeless and relevant. Inner peace doesn't come from external circumstances, but from a state of presence and acceptance. By letting go of attachments to our thoughts and identities, we can experience a deeper awareness and joy. Each chapter of Tolle's work is a gentle reminder that life's beauty unfolds only when we are truly and fully here in the now. If you like the sound of this book and you'd like a copy for free, use the link in the description of this video to get a trial of Audible and you get the book for free. I hope you enjoyed this summary and thanks for watching. Have a great day.